לך שאז קטן היודע לשמור תפילין בטהרה שלא יישם בהם לא יפיח בהם חייב אביב לקנות לו תפילין לחנכו קטן, שאל אומר זה אייג'ר בר מצווה that's able to watch to make sure that the tefillin is being watched with the shav tahara he won't sleep with them he won't let out gas and on and you know all the things that a person has to do with his tefillin halakha is hayav aviv the kronot of tefillin the father is obligated just like anything else that we have hinuch person is hayav to be mahanech his child to put on tefillin and the halakha is once you start you don't stop so therefore the child would have to put on from then on, from whenever the father buys the tefillin. Hagaha, ve'yesh omrim, some say no, ve'ay katan davka shu ben shelosh osre shanim, ve'yom erhad. It has to be that the child is already 13. Once he's 13, then already he knows start, that's when already the mitzvah starts. But before that, the person should not buy his child a pair of tefillin to put on, even though normally there is a minhag, again, even though there is a mitzvah of hinuch, over here, in this mitzvah, we don't do. We, we know that the minhag by the Sfaradim, by the Sfaradim, there's different customs, but Ashkenazim, they're uh, more with this, that they don't put on tefillin so early. By the Sfaradim, there are different customs. Some have the custom that they put on tefillin two or three months before, again, only for hinuch, two or three months, Understandable to be able to train the child how to put it on, totally learn how you know where to put it on exactly, how, you know the you may to put it on in time. So therefore, again, two or three months is already an accepted kind of thing. However, in the shami in the shami minhag, the shami custom is that we don't put on the tefillin, being that many children do not know how to be noheg with the tefillin, they don't know how to keep the tefillin b'kdushav tahala. Therefore. The minhag is that they don't put on the tefillin till the day of. They wait till the day of the bar uh, mitzvah. Uh, it's a different story. Again, that's odd. rare cases. But in a regular case, our custom is that we don't put on tefillin early. Most Syrians, the day of, that's the day they put on tefillin. And they make a simcha on that day. That's the day. They have a special, a special day that they have a party. They have, it's a day of Yishev. By then, this is a special mitzvah. Again, this is the custom of the of our of our ida that we don't put on the tefillin, even though normally there is a mitzvah chinuch. However, in this case, the custom was that the, since children did not know how to be shomer the kedushah of the tefillin, that they should put it, should put it on. However, again, if you know that your child is able to be shomer the tefillin, and you have a reason why you're putting on the tefillin early, either you want to train him. Or you're going to Israel and you want to be able to put on tefillin because you're making a party over there. In such a case, when a person needs, a person is allowed to. It's not a problem for a child, even under the age of bar mitzvah, to put it on. Being that again, there is a mitzvah hinuch, just in regards to putting on tefillin, either for the first time or if a person buys tefillin and he gets a brand new pair of tefillin, or if a person didn't put it on tefillin for a long time and now he starts again and he's putting on tefillin. Halakha is that you don't say Sheikh Hayanu. So a child who's putting on his tefillin for the first time does not say Sheikh Hayanu, even though normally we do say a biracha on a new mitzvah, on something new. However, for the for tefillin, we don't put it on, we don't do it. Usually the custom is that they buy a new talet and they say the Sheikh Hayanu on the talet, and that's kolel everything altogether.